Hello, hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to another fine episode of Woman to Woman with Joe and the Talk Show. Today, we talk with the beautiful Miss Dawn Ammons, who after 26 years of being in the casino industry, she started her own company and she is the chief heart officer of that company. She is also the author of Betting on Faith. Y'all help me welcome Miss Dawn Ammons. Well, y'all help me welcome our beautiful guest on today, Miss Dawn Ammons. Dawn, thank you so much for joining us today. I am so excited. I am excited to too. hear your story. Thank you. And I have so many questions. Well, thank you. <laughs> so first, um, I do want to know and ask you, where were you born and raised? So I was actually born in the great state of Kansas. Kansas. It, yes. Uh, how many people do you know from Kansas? Just Dorothy. <laughs> That's everybody's answer always. Everybody always says Dorothy. Um, so I was born in Hutchinson, Kansas. I'm awesome. a um, graduate of the University of Kansas. I'm a Jayhawk. Awesome. Um, yes, I'm in SEC land and I have the worst football team in the nation, mm. but that's okay. Um, so yes, I'm from Kansas uh -huh. and, awesome. I, and I've lived all over. I lived in Kansas City, um, St. Louis, and um, I moved here from Vegas mm -hmm. in 2013. Awesome. Yes. From Vegas. So tell me what brought you to the great state of Mississippi that I love so well. Well, I will tell you, um, we love it. Um, my mm -hmm. son and I moved here in 2013 mm -hmm. and I'd been in the ca casino business for um, over 26 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I felt like God called me here to help run a casino um, outside Philadelphia in right. Choctaw, Mississippi, and it's called Pearl River Resort. So yes. my friend was the CEO here and um, she said, how about you and your son just come look at it? And um, we, we came here and I have to tell you a cute story. When um, I was interviewing here, they picked Case and I up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. and uh, well, it was dark and we drove down 20, I, I feel like a Mississippi person now because yeah. I took the 25 to the 16. Yes. Yes, yes, because <laughs> y'all use those numbers. Exactly. And so we, we finally made it over and then we saw the beautiful golden moon and um, we didn't know what it looked like. So my son was only 10 at the time. I was mm -hmm. a single mom and he was 10. And so we wake up in the morning and he throws open the blinds at the golden moon and he goes, Mom, I don't think we're on strip side. Uh -huh. I said, honey, this isn't Vegas. And I think this is strip side. I think all these trees uh -huh. are going to be exactly like that on the other side. Right. And um, it, it ended up being um, the biggest gift that God has ever has ever given us. And yes. um, so I, we came here so that I could run Pearl River Resort. Awesome. Yes. So what was that like? I, I've passed by Pearl sure. River Resort, but I've never been in there. Sure. I don't think. I, you know, you would know. You would know if you were in there. <laughs> I've never been there. So tell me about um, what you did at Pearl River sure. Resort. Sure. So um, when I moved here, um, most of my career was either in operations or HR. So mm -hmm. when I moved here, I was the vice president of resort operations. So I was responsible for all the non-gaming areas, such as the hotels, the spas, the retails, the restaurants, um, water park. Mm -hmm. I even was responsible for an Exxon gas station that I knew nothing about. That in the water oh, wow. park, I was like. <laughs> My goal was a keep everybody healthy and alive at the water park and right. keep gas in the gas tanks at Exxon. Yes. So I had um, when I was in Vegas, um, my office actually was at Caesar's Palace, and oh, wow. yes, and I was um, one of the vice presidents of HR for um, for Harris and Caesars um, for mm -hmm. seventy eight thousand employees. Oh wow! And then I opened up the Cosmopolitan, and um, then I worked for another casino, Pinnacle Gaming, Pinnacle. and then I just felt like. God called me here because when I went to Pearl River Resort, it looks, it's very much just like Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. we, it's Inside. beautiful, everything, beautiful wow. slot machines, beautiful restaurants, an amazing spa. And I fell in love with the, the, the team there. Mm -hmm. And um, so we moved here and um, I, I, I worked there for almost three years mm -hmm. and then um, actually stepped out and started my own company in 2015. Awesome. But I will tell you, it is it is just like Vegas. Uh -huh. It's just in Choctaw, Mississippi. And, and they're, they're saying used to be, it's just a little bit of sweet tea. Just a little bit Miss of sweet tea. tea. Yes, yes. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Well, talk to me about the company that you've started. Sure. Because you said that you are the chief heart officer. So talk to me about that. What is, tell, first tell me the name of your company and then sure. what the chief heart officer does. Sure. So um, my company is called Going All In. It's mm -hmm. much like um, it's off the, the gaming industry. When you um, are playing poker, you go all in and mm -hmm. you 
you put all your money on the table. And so um, I was going all in. And I will tell you what kind of made me start my own company is when I was at Pearl River Resort, um, mm -hmm. the CEO said, we need to start a health and wellness program. Okay. And um, so I raised my hand, even though I was in operations, I said, oh, I've done that before as a vice president of um, HR with mm -hmm. um, Harris. And um, so she said, okay, go ahead and do it. And I said, now it, to be a real health and wellness program, um, it needs to be integrated, not just in the food we offer, mm -hmm. but it needs to be um, how we run our business, the benefits, everything. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you the beauty of it is, is our, the, the CEO knew that um, we needed to invest in our employees first, right? Because right. best companies take care of their employees, That's right. that take care of their guests, that take care of the financial service profit chain. And so, health and wellness program rolled out long mm -hmm. story short mm -hmm. um, they lost over 6,000 pounds oh wow. they got off medicines apnea machines um, and it, this is the employees yes wow we got picked up by the biggest loser they came and taped us that is awesome yes and then we got national media um, we actually ended up going out to um, vet, uh, out to Vegas to um, Los Angeles for the mm -hmm. taping of the biggest loser wow. um, the CEO the chief the two biggest Native American losers me and my son mm -hmm. and we saw the finale um, a couple of our losers actually got to go to the um, ranch with Patrick house mm -hmm. um, and it just got attention and it's because it was integrated that yeah. employees knew that they love that we love them that's right and i yeah. will tell you i still am very very close to the tribe and the employees but i stepped out three years after working there because i want i knew that god had brought me here for a reason like this mm -hmm. was my mission field for many reasons for yeah. my faith uh -huh. Um, but also for making a difference. So my chief heart officer is about helping companies be their best. I actually yeah. started with the health, health and wellness programs and I actually worked with a company for um, a hospital organization, very large for a few years. Mm -hmm. And I got pulled back into what I do now, which is um, leadership training. Mm -hmm. um, I help CEOs and their teams with strategies. Awesome. Um, and then I also do executive coaching. Awesome. And so, and now motivational speaking with my book. Yes. Yay. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, I'm the chief heart officer because it's all about taking care of your most impor important asset, which is your employees. Yes. yes. That is awesome. And yes. so many, so many employers need to hear that. Say it again. Uh, no, <laughs> no. If I told you that I hear this oh, every goodness. week from every industry, yes. everywhere about if, if people, if their leaders could just hear how much pouring into the employees makes a difference in the yes, bottom line. So. It does, because if, if they're happy and they're looking forward to coming to work to do the job that they're paid to do, you're gonna get the best out of them. Amen. You're gonna get, they're gonna be happy to maybe work over to or whatever it is. I love this show called, um, good group, Undercover Boss. So does my son. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Do you cry at every one of them? Yes, <laughs> yes. It's because it's like the boss is at the top and they can't really see because you have all these middlemen yes. that are in there and they're in the way. But when the boss comes and he gets to talk one-on-one -on -one with one of the employees yes. and, and they get to see how it really is for the people who are down here yes. really making the money for the company. Amen. Then it's like, we need to do something different or we need to you know, start a health and wellness company. Uh, program or something or like that. Or leadership. It, it's yes. a lot of it is just basic leadership at the supervisor and manager role. Yes. To understand the little things about your name tag does not make you a boss. Right. And so the name tag just merely says you're a supervisor, but you have so much responsibility because like you said, they have eight hours. Mm -hmm. You can either sit there and twiddle your thumb for the yeah. eight hours, or you can do whatever you want to make the company mm -hmm. better. That's right. So I, I, um, I started that six years ago, and I will tell you, God led me also to the most amazing, I have a business partner. Her name mm -hmm. is Dr. Karen Goodnight. Okay, she is awesome. out of um, Norman, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and um, she is a Sooner, and I'm a Jayhawk, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and she has um, not only her PhD, but she's a, a, Ch a Chickasaw legislator. Oh, awesome. And so it is, it is amazing because we work with many companies and we we um, we bet we complement each other mm -hmm. and so um, it has been a beautiful journey and you know I, I talked about how Mississippi is my promised land for many reasons um, 
we came here in 2013 and mm -hmm. though we went through some trials, even when you have Christ in your life, yes. it doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean that you don't have trials and tribulations, but mm -hmm. I had Christ and I had joy. Yes. Um, we moved here. Um, I, like I said, I was a single mom. Yes. Case got very, very sick. Oh, wow. Um, he was in the hospital. They found out he had a disease. They thought I had West Nile. Oh, wow. I got threatened to be murdered, had the FBI in my living room and the list goes uh, on. What? I know. I know. For, <laughs> and, um, but I still had joy. And, and one thing that someone said that really resonated with me is that joy and pain can run in parallel tracks. Yeah. Because there is a life before Christ. Yes. And there's a life with Christ. And yes. you can have hurt and pain, Definitely. but you can still have joy. Amen. And so we went through all this and then God gave me the most amazing husband oh, awesome. who is from the great state of Mississippi. Uh -huh. He's from Bogachetta. Bogachetta. And I didn't even know. It. He's like, don't hold it against me. I'm from Bogachetta. I'm like, what is a Bogachetta? I know exactly what Bogachetta is. And then I went to the Bogachetta. Yes. <laughs> and I have an, a beautiful stepdaughter too. So awesome. God said, you know, I am with you the entire time. And mm. the four of us have a beautiful family. That is awesome. That is yes. so awesome. I'm, I'm, this is just wonderful. So okay. far, so good, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right, you guys, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with more Woman to Woman with Joanne. And we are back with the lovely Miss Dawn Ammons. And now we want to hear about this book and the motivation behind this book. Talk sure. to us about betting on faith. Sure. So um, about three years ago, actually it's four years ago now, um, I'm 2017, I'm sitting in my office and I've always felt like um, I wanted to tell my story. I think one of the gifts that God has given me is the, the ability to motivate people, even mm -hmm. when I've been through some of the toughest th times. And um, I... I I knew that it was on my heart to, to just share part of my story so that people could find strength in whatever they've been through. Yes. So I, I just started putting my, my thoughts on paper and I will tell you, I tell anybody, whatever you want to do, whatever your goal is, write a book, run a marathon, start a new company, start a talk show, whatever it is, mm -hmm. just do it yes. and do it scared mm -hmm. because Satan <laughs> will tell you yep. 5,000 reasons not to. Why Am I right? You, you probably oh, yes. know this. Like, I will talk you out of everything. Yes. So I just started, I started writing. And I think the, the beauty of this whole thing is um, when I went to college, I went to school to be a dentist and mm -hmm. I took organic chemistry mm -hmm. and yeah, I didn't do so well. It was really, <laughs> it was like really organic. Yeah, dentistry. it was really, really bad. And my dad's undergrad actually at Dartmouth mm -hmm. was in chemistry. And mm -hmm. I would, I would call him and say, dad, I can't do this. And he's like, oh, sure you can. I'm like, he's like, I, I bet you're just having a hard time. And I'm like, no, actually I'm failing. <laughs> so he said, so what are you going to do? And I became a journalism major. Journalism. Yeah. Okay. So I awesome. got a degree in public relations and ran casinos. Uh -huh. So I wrote really good memos. Yes. But you know, fast forward 40 some years and I start writing my own book. And mm -hmm. so it's the story, it's my God story. And there's a lot, there's a period of my life that I had God in my life and Christ, but it was only when it was convenient. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And then when I was actually in Vegas, um, there's a chapter called um, Wandering the Desert. Mm -hmm. I, you know, sometimes she wanders. Yes. Is I found Christ. Yeah. And I, um, I remember, um, and this is just a little brief excerpt I want to talk about is, yeah. um, I remember I was with, um, it was me and my son and his best friend, Jack, mm -hmm. and they were probably in six or seven. And I went to church and I went to this church called Central Christian, the pastor, mm -hmm. Judd Wilhite, very, yes, yes. I've heard that name. Yes. Awesome. He actually read part of my book and wrote a, oh, a little, um, you know, recommendation, mm -hmm. big, awesome church, right? Like yeah. it, that's really where I heard it's okay to not be okay. Yes. And you don't have to stay there. Right. So I, we would go all the time and, you know, we would listen and I just felt God called me one Sunday to get baptized. Mm -hmm. So there in my blue sundress, my, 
And you know, and in Vegas, you can wear jean shorts, flip flops, yeah. your prom dress. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Just, whatever. just, just show up because we're, we're just talking about grace. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that God is full of grace. <laughs> yes. And I, I go get Case and his friend Jack from Sunday school. And uh, I'm like, I'm going to get baptized. And they're like, OK. Now, mind you, in Vegas, this is nothing weird, right? Like yeah. we're going to go out in the middle of a parking lot and there's going to be all of these pools. Uh -huh. And they had shirts. They had everything that you need, towels. Wow. And they... I walked up there in my blue sundress and mm -hmm. got in the pool and they baptized me and my son and his little friend are like, that's, the, that's beautiful mom <laughs> because it's Vegas. Yeah. And I found Christ in the middle of a parking lot wow. in Las Vegas. Wow. <laughs> and so then I talk about how, um, the journey called me back to something that was very similar to Kansas, which mm -hmm. is Mississippi. Yes. Minus the size of the bugs mm -hmm. and the tornadoes. <laughs> yes. Yes. There's no basements here. Yes. yes. In Kansas, we have basements, <laughs> but I, it, it's my, it's my God story. And so I wanted people to hear through a very hard childhood and through losing many people in my life mm -hmm. and then losing myself mm -hmm. that I was absent without Christ. And I would, you know, whether it was, um, you know, big houses or purses or cars or jobs or relationships or wine or whatever it was, mm -hmm. that's how I tried to fill the void of the, my, my childhood. Yeah. And then I found myself in Christ and that's where I found joy and I, yes. I, and I wanted to leave Vegas and mm -hmm. I knew that this is where God wanted me to be. And I love, I love me some Mississippi. Yeah. Yes. So tell me, and I normally ask this question first, but tell me your experience when you first came to Mississippi, how was it? Has it changed from then until now? I think you said you came in 2013. Mm -hmm. So how was your experience from then to now? Has anything changed? No, I, I will tell you, I, I still love it with my whole heart. I yes. will tell you when we first moved there, moved here and it was Case and I, and if you're not from here, they all want to know what, why are you here and what are you doing here? <laughs> and um, it's almost just like inquisitive, like why, why did you come here from Vegas? <laughs> and so, um, and then after they find out you're okay yeah, and you're a good person, mm -hmm. Mississippi will take care of you. Yes. It is. Hospitality. Completely. Now, if you're kind of a lug nut, I, I, you're not going to go well here because they, people know, right? Yes. But I will tell you, they will make you casseroles and love on you and mm -hmm. pray for you like nobody's business. Yes. I also had to learn the vernacular, my, my son and I did, because we didn't know about cranking cars and yeah. we didn't know about- Cranking the car? What Y'all say start the car. We start the car. Yeah. yeah. We, we gonna go crank yeah, well, you're going to go crank. I'm, yeah. And I remember his, <laughs> I remember his- Wait, I told my daughter that just this morning, I was like, Mike, go crank up the car. No, but the very first time I was like, this isn't the Waltons. What are you talking about? Right. And then his nanny said one time, I, I'm going to, I'm going to carry him to school. I'm like, have you seen how big he is? What do you mean you're going to carry? And there, I have actually a little chapter about my love for Mississippi and, yes. and the buggies and, and even directions. When you guys give directions, you go, you take the 25 to the 16 mm -hmm. and then, then you guys go, you know where the Piggly Wiggly used to be? Yes. And you all go like this. <laughs> There's no Piggly Wiggly. And yeah. then you all shake your head and then you go, if you made it to the barn, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. Yes. <laughs> so we, I, I will tell you, I don't know where, it, and I even told my pastor who's Chip uh, Henderson, I said, yes. do you guys have, do you guys have a dictionary? He's like, we don't need no Webster here. <laughs> and I'm, but I will tell you, I love it with my whole heart. I yes. love it with my whole heart. And my son does too. Well, let me say this. So what, what, um, campus do you go to because chip is my pastor as well reservoir we go to madison yes is that not awesome oh, oh he is <laughs> there's a part in here about when when we met him for the first time i wrote him a letter oh awesome do you mean do you have you mean tell you about that it's, tell ca it's kind of funny it. okay yes. i'm sure my son is like oh my gosh mom um so we had been here about a, a couple weeks mm -hmm. and um people said you you might like pine lake if you like central christian so mm -hmm. we said oh, okay so we go in there and um we're listening and actually our german au pair was with us she ended up having to go um mm -hmm. back to germany because they didn't have any au pair program here but right. we're sitting there and chip's like so and he tells about his mom not wanting him to go to pearl river resort and the golden moon i'm like this <laughs> <laughs> and my son's like this. He he looks at me and he looks back and he's like, it's, it's okay. He's like, he's like a little old man since he yeah. was little. He's like, it's okay. And so he said, my mama wouldn't want me there playing whatever and, you know, smoking cigars and all that. And I'm like, oh no. So, so we walk out and, and Case at the time said, mom, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. I, here's what he said. I think you should give him a second chance. And I'm like, <laughs> I agree. But I just want to tell him that I need him to pour into me. And he still laughs at me now. Yeah. And we're still friends. Yes. <laughs> we, we became even better friends. So I wrote him this letter and said, Hey, my name is Dawn. I just moved here from Vegas. And you were talking about 
um, Pearl River Resort and the Golden Moon and yeah, that's where I work. And mm -hmm. like I came from the casino business and um, I'm used to the preachers pouring into us so we can pour into other people. Yeah. And he wrote me back the next day and uh -oh. he said, I will be at the Golden Moon on Thursday oh, to wow. meet with you. And so there comes <laughs> Chip in his truck. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> And he comes and we have coffee and I honestly have never been prayed on. So when he was praying to my office, I'm like, I must have a lot of demons or something because that man has prayed and prayed and prayed and we have stayed. And that is hilarious. He is, he's awesome. He is awesome. And he goes, I didn't, he goes, that's the only time I spoke about the casino yeah. was at the service you went to. Wow. And then he introduced me to Jennifer Van Norman in my Bible study and my L3 group. And I uh -huh. have been with them for going on set six years That's and awesome. um i will tell you i love me some pine lake and i love yes. chip and yes. god is good it is awesome That's yes awesome yes <laughs> so okay y'all we're going to take another short break we'll be right back with more woman to woman with joe ann pink leopard is an online ladies fashion accessories boutique and a lifestyle brand at Pink Leopard, you will find ladies' earrings, a door opener, bracelets, brooches, and many other fashion accessories. Visit us at www.mypinkleopard.com and join our mailing list so you can stay in touch with us. That's www.mypinkleopard.com. Okay, you guys, we're back. We're still here, of course, with the lovely Miss Dawn Ammons. Dawn, tell me a little bit more about Going All In sure. and what you guys do there. Sure. Mm -hmm. So um, we we focus on four main areas. The mm -hmm. first is building strategies for for very large organizations or small organizations. Mm -hmm. um, we also do leadership development and coaching and team coaching. I think one of the biggest things is there are times when teams, if they could just gel and, and tell each other that some of the hard stuff and have some hard discussions, mm -hmm. we work through um, that with, with companies. So we do team coaching mm -hmm. um, with the leadership coaching and leadership training. Um, I do executive coaching, and mm -hmm. then I'm now doing motivational speaking. I go do a keynote next week. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so it's all about making um, and helping companies be their best through their through their strategies and their people. So now tell us a little bit more about your book. Is there something else you want people to know before we end this wonderful show on today? This has really been great. It, well, first of all, thank you, Joanne. And I thank you for our mutual friend, Amy Bates, who is yes. just a gift from God. She is absolutely wonderful. She the is. sweetest in the world. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. um, so I just want to thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Betty Non Faith is available at um, Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, it's available at Barnes and Noble online mm -hmm. and it's available Target online right now. Awesome. And it was pretty exciting to get picked up by Target. Yes. Yes. And so um, I think that the neatest thing about um, this sharing my story is there were a few as I wrote the book, I obviously had to get feedback from everybody in my life that their name was in the book. Oh, yeah. So from childhood friends to old colleagues to mm -hmm. Chip Henderson. Yes. To Judd Wilhite <laughs> to whoever so it was. Awesome. It was really nice to reconnect. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, is people sharing with me, I had no idea that you had this in your life, whether yeah. some of the really, really hard things that I share in here, they, they're like, Don, I had this in my life. I had this as a child I had, yes. and, or they underline parts of the book that said, um, I had tears and I've had multiple yeah. people talk about tears, but th the nice thing too, is when people say, you know, that the line broken colors still no broken crayon, still color. Yes. Amen. You know, yeah. um, and, and we've talked about it before. It's okay to not be okay. And Chip talks about it, it but we, we don't have to stay there. Exactly. And I, 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 I quote scripture in here because I, I believe that is Christ who kept me and was with me all along, even yes. um, when I was lost. Yes. And one of the greatest verses I talk about now is um, he makes beauty out of ashes and it's Definitely. Isaiah 61, three. Definitely. And so I, it's just a blessing to share this with you yes. and to share part of my story. And, you know, if, if it brings any strength to anybody, then I've done my job. Yes. Yes. It's absolutely beautiful. And bringing our ashes to God for beauty. It's like, I do that every day. Amen. <laughs> it's Amen. like every day I got a pile of ashes and I'm like, here, Lord, Got some more. Me too. Give me some beauty. <laughs> Same. Same. <laughs> yes. So God is absolutely amazing. And he's 
putting me in contact with so many beautiful hearts and beautiful Same. people. And I just love this. Same. I love the opportunity to share your story, but then to be encouraged be enlightened, to be motivated and empowered all at the same time. Amen. So when we're doing woman to woman with Joey in the talk show, it's not just about us sharing that story, but it's about me being <laughs> fulfilled same. Um, and just being so uplifted by these beautiful Amen. stories that I get to share with our beautiful readers like you. So Don, thank you so much for thank coming you, on today Joanne, and sharing us. your story. Please tell the people again how they can get your book, Betting on Faith. Sure. And Go ahead. also tell them if they want to uh, book you for a motivation, motiv as a motivational speaker, tell them how they can reach you there as well. Wonderful. So again, uh, Betting on Faith is on Amazon, um, Barnes and Noble and um, Target. Mm -hmm. And if you want any more information, my website is goingallin.net and there is a contact me Mm -hmm. but it tells all of our services that we offer so mm -hmm. thank you joanne thank you so much for coming <laughs> this has been absolutely wonderful thank you all right you guys thank y'all for joining us for another episode of woman to woman with joanne the talk show love y'all so much and thank y'all for joining us like this share this tell somebody about us on today <laughs> and y'all have a great great rest of the day and we will see y'all next time love y'all If you would like to be a guest on the show, or if you'd like to sponsor an episode, please reach out to us. You can email us at joanne at woman to woman with joanne .com.